if you look at the registered professional engineers in the country, no more than 10% are chemical engineers. So we don't have enough chemical engineers, although we have this uh, proliferation of chemical industries. So most of my life, to tell you the honest truth, has been very serendipitous. When I finished my matric, my parents wanted me to do medicine. Because at that time, a black kid who was top in mathematics uh, and science would go to either medicine or teaching or all the very common professions. But engineering was never common in the black community at that time. And I remember when I probed a bit deeper in knowing exactly what engineering entails, one thing that really caught me was the fact that in engineering you have to do a lot of mathematics. VET is one of about seven institutions in the country that offer uh, uh, engineering. And we've been doing this for quite some time. By the way, we've got history of producing high caliber chemical engineers in particular. I remember when I started working uh, in the very early 90s, industries would go out on a limb to find VET uh, university graduates. When it comes to research, we are the only ones in the country at the moment that do the kind of research that I'm doing.